the body fluids of all animals are remarkably similar in salt content, and this content is very similar to the salt content in seawater. For soft-bodied marine animals like the sea anemone, water balance is simple. Their body fluids are in equilibrium, or are isotonic, with the surrounding water. Osmotic pressures are the same inside and outside the animal's cells. Animals that don't actively adjust their internal water balance are called osmoconformers. Freshwater contains about one hundredth of the salt concentration of seawater, but water tends to diffuse from regions of low salt concentration to regions of higher salt concentration. So freshwater animals must have a way to prevent the surrounding water from entering their cells. Animals that actively adjust their internal water balance to maintain osmotic pressure are called osmoregulators. Freshwater protists, like a paramecium, are osmoregulators. They expel excess water by means of a contractile vacuole. Marine protists, which are osmoconformers, don't usually need or possess contractile vacuoles. Land animals have the opposite problem to freshwater protists. As we'll see, they need to prevent water loss from their cells. No matter what the environment, osmoregulation depends upon active transport across cell membranes. The layer of specialized epithelial cells that regulates the movements of salts is called transport epithelium. Transport epithelium is usually characterized by a single sheet of cells facing the external environment or lining a tubular channel that leads to the outside, cells that are connected by impermeable tight junctions forming a continuous barrier, and a variety of membrane transport proteins that can shuttle ions or molecules across the epithelium. Transport epithelia help maintain water balance and take part in excretion, as we'll see later in this activity.